Now in this video, we're gonna take a look at true wireless earbuds that go from work to play in a snap. We're talking about the Poly Voyager Free 60 Plus UC. These are true wireless earbuds that are gonna work at the enterprise, meaning work from home or in the office, and also gonna work great in your daily audio experience for listening to, let's say, music or also watching movies. These also have something that I've never seen before, and that is the smartest case that I've ever seen when it comes to true wireless earbuds, because this case is a remote control, and it's a Bluetooth uh, transmitter too. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the battery life for the Poly Voyager Free 60 Plus is gonna vary based on how you're using them. Uh, so for example, if you're using them for conference calls, for talking, right, you're gonna expect to get around 5.5 hours of battery life with active noise canceling off. The case is gonna give you an 11 hour boost, so you're looking at around 16.5 hours of total usage. Now if you're gonna use these for listening to music, um, expect with active noise canceling to get eight hours, and the case is gonna give you another 16, so you're looking at 24 hours plus, depending on your usage, a little bit more or a little bit less. Now, the other thing is that if you happen to run out of power, 15 minutes is gonna give you one hour and 12 minutes worth of usage. That's pretty spectacular. That's how fast these uh, things are gonna charge. Now, it does support Qi charging, which is great, so you're gonna be able to put these down and they'll charge. Uh, it does have transparency mode, so you'll be able to listen to the environment around you. It has hybrid adaptive active noise canceling. So it's listening to what's going on and it's gonna give you the best active noise canceling experience. I used these just recently on a plane trip, a four hour plane trip. They did fantastically well using the active noise canceling feature. Uh, there were children crying in the background. It was kind of noisy on the plane and I just was immersed and I was able to listen to um, audiobooks, do some work, do some YouTube editing and really didn't have a challenge with these at all. Now, one of the things that sets this product apart from others is that this USB-C connection that is used not only to charge these if you want to, it also serves as the connection point so that on a plane, or if you have a device where you're unable to connect Bluetooth to, you're able to connect this via the USB-C to three and a half connector to that audio source, and this becomes a Bluetooth transmitter. That means that your headphones, your earbuds, will be receiving the audio from this device and give you that audio experience. Think about how many times have you wanted to listen to music on a plane or watch a movie and you have to have a separate set of earbuds, right? Or headphones that are wired. You don't have to do that anymore because this thing is super smart. Not only will it allow you to have that experience, but it also is a remote control. Play, pause, active noise canceling, raise the volume. Everything can be done by the touchscreen that you're gonna see in a couple seconds. It is IP54 rated. Right, which means you can use these in the gym, you can use these for work and play. And the other thing about this is that it's certified to work with a variety of platforms. Right, So think about, you know, I've been using this with Zoom, not a problem. I've been using it with Teams, not a problem. I've been using these with all of the video web conferencing type solutions that are available today, and I've had no issues whatsoever. And if you are in a corporate environment, the cool thing about Poly is that these are enterprise ready for the type of uh, management uh, that you would expect when you're having corporate devices. So a lot of flexibility. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a look at the case, the accessories that the product comes with. We're gonna see also uh, what the audio sounds like during a EBP man audio test. We're also going to take a look at the call quality test to see how much is being canceled from an audio test. And we're gonna be pretty aggressive when it comes to household noises and also looking at white noise that you may find in an office environment. And you'll see why these are spectacular. Now keep in mind uh, that these are early version, right? And there are gonna be firmware updates coming. Uh, things may be improved, well, not maybe, I know they're gonna be improved. And we've already been giving Polly some feedback on things that we'd like to see. So let's take a closer look. When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking
Now, next we're going to do a call quality test of the Voyager Free in Acquiring Environment. We take a look at our decimal readings. Anywhere between 20 and about 27 decibels of noise. Let's go to switch. Now, this is the call quality will sound like you're making a phone call in a quiet environment of the Voyager Free. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. What we're going to do now is we're going to add some wind. So this is what the Voyager Free would sound like in a quiet environment with wind in the environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is our test. Now we're in a much noisier environment. As you can see here, decimal readings anywhere between 48 and 78 decibels of noise. What we're going to do is we're going to stay quiet for a couple seconds, see how much noise is being canceled, and then we'll continue with the audio test. Let's go ahead and switch. Now this is what the Voyager Free 60 Plus UC sound like in a noisy environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is our test. Now this is what the Voyager Free would sound like with an infant crying in the background. This is what they're going to sound like with an infant crying in the background. Now, if you're wondering what they're going to sound like with a dog barking in the background, well, this is what they sound like with a dog barking in the background. Now, if you're wondering what they're going to sound like with a doorbell ringing in the background, well, this is what they sound like with a doorbell ringing. Now, the PolyLens app is also packed with features. Let's take a look at some of the options you have here. So as we take a look at the app, one of the things that I just noticed is that there's an update available for these. So we're going to be uh, updating them really shortly. Now, you'll notice you have the actual uh, uh, earbuds, the case is displayed. Uh, if we go into the settings, let's go ahead here for a second so you can see what's going on here. You can set your language settings. You have your uh, general area here where you can turn on your mute reminder so that you can hear that. Uh, notification tones, uh, mute on and off alerts with voice so that you can hear that spoken word. Sound incoming call. Uh, equalizer, so I have mine set to bass because that's what I favor, so I would like to see that. You have also ringtone volume, side tone, volume level. Uh, and then also min and max alerts. You have custom swipe options, right? So when idle, so you can see if you swipe, it's gonna turn on active transparency. In a call, when I swipe, and that's just like swiping on them, it doesn't have a physical button, except that it actually it does. It has one here on the side, which we're gonna take a look at in a second. Uh, and then also it has, uh, if it's streaming media, it's gonna show what it does. You also have set sensors that you can enable or disable, a wearing sensor, active call audio, auto answer, auto pause for music. If we go into the advanced area, you can see do have anti-startle, so which means that if all of a sudden there's a loud noise, it's not going to just um, uh, be loud all of a sudden. It's going to be something that will startle you as you're listening. Noise exposure, hours uh, of usage per day, you can do that. Active noise canceling, adaptive, transparency, you saw the modes that we have. Uh, voice prompts, you know, these are all the alerts that you can have and then you can uh, obviously reset them. On the very bottom, you can see here really a lot of information. The actual left, the right earbud, the case that is connected, and the fact that you know the software update that we have pending. Uh, so a lot of capabilities in this app. Now one other option I wanna show you in the app is that you do have Find My Device functions. You have a user guide, and then you can actually change some of the color themes that you can uh, play with. Now, what I'm going to do uh, next is I just want to show you one more thing about the earbuds really quick. And as you can see right here, there's a physical button right here that you can press, right? So this is going to be your talk button. You'll be able to, uh, again, execute some functions here, but you'll see it right there. It's, it's kind of hidden almost, but it's actually, uh, it's actually one of the physical buttons that when you press, there's like a clickiness to, you, to it. So uh, what do I think about the uh, Voyager Free? Um, I actually, for a corporate environment, these are fantastic. The fact that they have the flexibility that we just discussed. Uh, also, I think that for me, the remote control functions on this guy are fantastic. Uh, I do find myself on a plane very often, and I do find myself at times, many times, wanting to hear or watch something that they may have on the screen. Unable to do it because I don't want to carry multiple headphones or earbuds wired and wireless. So having this as a single solution is a game changer for me. Um, also, the fact that this works in a corporate environment, the fact that I can go from corporate to consumer experiences is something for me that is really important. I really like the UC type capabilities. And then again, I have the preference. I can pick this up with the USB-C or USB-A. They are available in two colors, white and uh, this kind of charcoal or black. And so this is gonna give you the kind of look that you'd like. It's gonna support iOS and Android, which is gonna be a plus. And I do think that they have great call quality. So 
Uh, highly uh, recommend them, even though this is a first look and they're still improving the software as we go along, which is uh, double thumbs up and it's good. That wraps up our review. See you in the next video.